Hello, it's me again, KSD. I am back again with another video. So if you feel like setting up your journal for January at the end of February, be my guest. And hey, look at my filming setup. There is no tripod anywhere in the frame. Things have improved, my friends. So I asked my husband what I could do as a theme for January and his idea was that I could do snowflakes. And to be quite honest, I was a little hesitant because it's certainly already been done. But I thought, why not give it a go? It's very cute and wintry. And even if it's been done before, this will be my spin on things. For most of this setup, I used this very, very shiny gel pen of mine that you are going to see in a minute. <laughs> it's so much more shiny as soon as you'll see a little close up of it. And my watercolor. I used a very light blue so that I have some sort of color next to silver from the gel pen that I mentioned and just tap my brush lightly, used very much water together with the watercolor so that, you know, you just get this light feeling of coolness and cold in the winter. And then I took out my gel pen and then started drawing snowflakes. <laughs> it's a little hard to explain what I'm doing. I think the most important thing that I noticed about snowflakes was that they are just three lines in its basic form. Usually when you draw an asterisk or just some tiny little star, you just have four different lines that you just cross over each other. For snowflakes, you actually only have three. And then I tried to keep them in a symmetric distance to each other, which is not the easiest thing in the world. I think I had some references. I tried to Pinterest and Google stuff so that I didn't have to come up with different designs all on my own all the time. And I drew some snowflake designs previously to filming so that I had some idea what I wanted to do. And so I could just copy the ones that I had already drawn into my journal. And that is basically what I did for all of those. Just draw three lines as a star and then add some cool decorations. By the way, could we take a minute to appreciate my nails? I don't, I don't have very long nails and I never have glue on sticky thingies on my fingers because I just can't stand that. On top of that, I play the violin so my nails always need to stay very short so that I can actually play the violin. <laughs> So I really only did this cool silvery blue thingy, especially for this video. Ta-da! I added some tiny little dots and teeny tiny snowflakes at the end. And that is my cover page. The title of my title page says Januar, which is German for January. No, there is no Y missing. It's just me using a German title. And I think I did that. I don't think I know I did that for February and for March as well. So the next spread that I'm setting up is my monthly page or my monthly overview. I think I mentioned this in my first video. I always do pretty much the same setup at this point. I, I think I said that too. <laughs> I've been journaling for a couple of years. And so the few setups that I do every month keep being the same and the first that I always do is my monthly overview and it's always a big calendar because I want to have enough space where I can fit everything that happens in a day in there all of my appointments or birthdays and stuff like that and I don't want to have mini calendars where I have to fumble about and it's just too tiny <laughs> so I'm always I'm always always going with a very big calendar I think I've only changed that once in the past and I hated it all the way through because I did this vertical layout it just didn't work at all not for me at least but this one this big calendar one it's just my go-to and it works perfectly <laughs> So I did this huge calendar, well huge, it, it is huge because for January you need six different lines and for some reason I decided to add in all of the boxes from the other months. I used my watercolor and my gel pen again. I did this light swoosh wash of blue color in the background on the right side of this page and then I added my little snowflakes. Again, I'm just drawing little dots and little snowflakes. I try to come up with different sorts of designs so that 
as in real life, every snowflake looks different from the other. After that, I went ahead and added the days of the month to each of the boxes that actually belong to January and not to December or February. So that's where I can add in all of the little numbers in the top right corner of each box for January. And that's what my monthly calendar looks like. There's another little close-up where you can actually see the shininess of the gel pen that I keep talking about. And yeah, I mean, look. The next page that I always do after my monthly is my trackers page. This has also not changed all too much over the past few years, especially not over the past year where I've always, always, always done this mini calendar format for my habits tracker, which I'm doing on the left side, as you can see right now. I've already added the blue wash of color again. And while that dries, I already start setting up the right side of the trackers page, which is for my sleep and mood page. And that's where my, <laughs> where my ballpoint pen decided to poop. <laughs> and I just fixed it with my Tipex real quick. So these huge boxes on the right are for my sleep and my mood tracker, where I will track how much I slept each night and what my mood was like on a specific day. And I just helped myself by adding those little emojis at the top and adding all of the times of the night for night times. At the time of filming, I still didn't know what the exact habits were going to be that I wanted to track in January. So just so that you can see what it's going to look like in the end, I did one that I'm always tracking. It's my go-to habits tracker item, and that is violin practice. I'm going to add a little icon that represents the habit that I want to track. And then if I have the space and for this layout I do, I add a short description of the habit. Meh. <laughs> I think you already saw me add the titles. Now you can watch me draw some snowflakes again. I decided to draw some bigger ones for this page. It's three very big, beautiful <laughs> snowflakes. And yeah, I just wanted to have some bigger ones so that I can actually go into more detail. The nib of this pen also isn't the very finest, so it was a little easier to draw these because they are bigger. You might have noticed that I messed up the spacing a bit for the word mood. So because it's for my mood, I figured why not try and make it a smiley? <laughs> I just used the space in between the, the O and the D and added a colon and now it's a smiley face and I love it. <laughs> What I'm trying to say with this is that sometimes you come up with ideas to get rid of mistakes that you did in that moment. I could not have planned to mess up the spacing in exactly that spot. It just happened. But I tried to come up with a creative solution for it. And now it makes me happy whenever I look at it. Because it's, it's a cute smiley. And no one will ever know that it was actually a tiny mistake. The next spread that I always set up in my monthly setups is my brain dump. And most of the time I don't call it brain dump anymore. I don't know why I don't, but for quite some time I've been calling it my notes page or notizen. Again, I have no idea why I wrote notes <laughs> for this setup. I could have gone with the German title, but I didn't. And that's always a page that I try to keep pretty empty. There is no specific layout to this double page. It's always just a title and the rest stays empty so that whatever point in time it is during the month and I have some specific idea that I just don't want to forget about, I will just add it there. Sometimes I put post-its there and sometimes I just add a quote that I found or, you know, just anything that pops up in my mind at some point during the month. It will go right here. The last spread that I am going to set up in this video is the first weekly spread for January. 
And I think I mentioned this in my first video already that I mainly use my journal for keeping a diary. So I always need lots and lots of space to write down what actually happened and to write down the things that are on my mind at night before I go to bed. So long story short, I always need a double spread for each weekly. For this particular one, I used the layout that Plant-Based Bride uses for her weeklies all of the time. She does this faux Dutch door setup. I don't actually use the middle page for a faux Dutch door. I never, I never fold it. But still, it's. I, I really like the aesthetics of a setup like this. So I don't use the rolling weekly that she uses. I still have a separate box for each day where I can write down all of the tasks that need to get done. But below that, I have lots and lots of space to write down what happened on a specific day. <laughs> and that's where I wanted to show you this cute little blob of color that I have not removed from my palette in ages because it looks like a whale. It's so adorable. I just figured I might show you what it looks like when I mix my blue color, which is just light blue and a slight bit of gray so that it's a little bit more toned down. And then I used that color to color in the top of all of the boxes for my to-do lists. And I added another wash at the bottom for my little decoration on the first page of my weekly. And there's another bunch of little snowflakes. I don't know if you can see. Well, obviously you can't because it's blurry right now. <laughs> But the big one turned out really cool. That's one of my favorite designs that I came up with that I really, really love. And it reminds me of Frozen, which I think, come on, <laughs> what better film is there to think about when thinking of snowflakes than Frozen? All that was left to do was to add the days of the week to all of the boxes. And I was so funny and added a little snowflake to the top where... I have my little calendar so that you know what week you're on. So I didn't highlight the week and I just added a little snowflake left to it so that you know this is the week that we're currently on. And that I continued doing that for the rest of January, by the way. <laughs> and I did the same thing on the second page, just added the slight washes of color and then put in the name of the day. So there's a column for each day. And the first column that you can see in the close-up right now is just there for organizational stuff for the whole week. And then you have a column for each Monday all the way through Sunday. <laughs> and yes, my friends, that is already it for my woo, second video. I'm glad that I have a better filming setup and even a new microphone now. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more videos in the future. Thank you so, so much for being here and watching my video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.